everybody welcome back i hope you're doing really well just rose look naked i'm not so today's video we're going to be doing some short hair styling i have had short hair for a very very long time now i'm well versed in the trials and tribulations of having short hair i'm also very lazy when it comes to my hair so recently i've been trying to make a bit more of an effort i just need to put this disclaimer out there i did my nails last night in the dark i thought they were dark ready brown i've woken up and they're purple so if you think why the hell has she got purple nails great question let's get into it I'm going to be doing my rollers. I've done this many times. I have varying outcomes. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. So it's all just pray for a sec and let's get going. I washed my hair yesterday, maybe day before yesterday. I find that this works better, definitely on my hair, the day after I wash it or even the day after that. If it freshly washed, my hair's just too fluffy and it just, just doesn't work. I'm using this Revlon hot brush kind of thing. I can't remember exactly what size this is, but I'll put it in the description box. I've got varying size rollers. I've got some smaller, some bigger. I'm just going to get into it and let's just all hope for the best. Obviously, you want to do this in sections just to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So, bring that up and just clip it on top of my head. Next is I like to spray my hair just to dampen it. So, this is just a spray bottle from Amazon. Frankie who does my hair, she always like sprays my hair before she does anything to it. My hair is quite wavy so it kind of needs to just be like reset before you try and do anything with it. I'm just going to try something today which I haven't done yet. So, nothing like trying new things when you actually do the tutorial is there. Um, this is the Colour Wow Dream Coat. I see this all the time and I got a little mini one in the Space NK Advent Calendar. And then I saw a video yesterday of someone doing their rollers and she was using this. If it's good enough for that random girl on TikTok. Good enough for me. So I think what you do is you just spray it onto your hair and I think people always say you need more than you think. It's apparently really good for humidity. I'm going to Thailand in a few weeks and boy oh boy am I going to need this. I've got these clips that I got off Amazon, they're actually not very good so don't buy them. I will put these in the description but I will also find you some better ones because I don't actually think these are very good. I'm going to do like three rollers along the bottom section, put it on the hottest setting, obviously you don't really want to be doing this every single day but if you do it properly, which hopefully we will, this should last me a few days. I'm going to curl it kind of in and under, obviously I'm not going to be able to talk through it because it's so loud so I will mute that so you don't literally scream. But yeah, I'll, feel, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing anyway. And also I actually don't really know what I'm doing so it doesn't really matter anyway. I'm just kind of getting my sections. So that's one end, so I kind of push it away just to like smooth the top and then bring it back in for the shape. You're going to take your roller, pop it around the bottom and then roll her up. Then I take a few of these clips, like I said they're pretty shit so you have to use a few for them to like actually hold. I think my hair's a bit too heavy for them. I did it really really badly the other day, I was in a rush, I just did it really quick and it actually looked great. So as long as it's kind of just setting in there in the right shape, should be cool. Side and then we will do the back one. I feel like anyone talks about this enough, but like all my piercings heat up when I use anything hot and it really hurts my ears. Okay, secure that one in. Something about having your hair in rollers makes you go all like peaky blinders. I feel like I'm waiting for my husband to get home. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Maybe the back one. Okay. Right, I'm gonna hairspray all of that bottom section. L'Oreal Extra Strong Hold. The smell of that just reminds me of being like 15. I used to set my makeup with this when I was at school. Okay, on to the next section. This is my problem. I definitely need like loads of rollers. My hair is really thick and I think I end up worrying that I'm going to run out of rollers. So I have to like kind of plan where they're all going to go, if that makes sense. I'm getting my hair done next week as well, which I'm very excited for. See, these spray bottles are the best thing. Like, quite often in the morning, I'll just dampen my hair and, like, re-scrunch it. As far as I'm aware, I'm just sleeping like this. But I wake up and, obviously, that's not what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, I always have to just, like, re-spray my hair in the morning and just kind of tame it a little bit. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to tell if this makes any difference, but I guess we will see. Oh, I'm all wet. Okay, let's get going. Actually, you know what, I take that all back. I think my hair does look way shinier and less frizzy than normal. And the only thing I've done differently is use that colour wow thing, so I will eat my words. And then it's always at this point that I lose momentum. It feels fun at the beginning, it feels fun at the end. This bit, not so much, but come on. Mm -hmm. 
So what I normally do is I'll do all of these going the same way and then the top section. I did like a couple going different ways. Honestly, I don't know why. There was no rhyme or reason to it, but it kind of just gave me some flicky bits, which I quite liked. So that's those two sections done. So now this is kind of the top bit. Um, oh, actually, no, it's not. I need to put one in the back. Ignore me. It's never ending hair. I'm going to attempt to just do like one big one at the back. Right, last one at the back and then we're on to the top section. This also must be a workout, like surely this counts as going to the gym. Because my arms are killing me. The back is in, so let's spray everything. Okay, so now this is the top section. This is the bit that you'll actually see the most. I like doing my rollers with like a side parting. I don't really have a fixed parting anyway. I kind of just go with the wind. I like my front bits, so I like to get those out. Sometimes I'll like just clip those. And then the rest of it, we'll probably do like one here, two there. Okay, so this one, I'm going to go the other way, just so I get that cute little flick on the top. I actually think that dream coat spray thing is pretty amazing. Like, I don't know if it's just luck, but I don't think my hair's ever looked that good. Okay, I'm gonna put quite a lot of that here because this is where my hair's really frizzy at the front. Okay, this is the one where I never really know what to do because I know you're supposed to go like away from your face, but sometimes I feel like it just looks a bit mental when I do that. So I'm gonna try it inwards today. Um, usually when I take these out, I have to like correct some little bits with the brush anyway, if it feels a bit much so i'm just gonna try it that way anyway and just see how it feels last few come on guys come on guys come on guys okay so my issue now is i've only got two big rollers left so, i mean i definitely need way more a couple of small ones here because i want this one to be a big one so i'm gonna do two small rollers here it's kind of the bulk of my hair on this side anyway so it doesn't really matter if there's two a bit smaller So we've got these little smaller ones compared to those big ones, so we're just going to do two of those. I'd quite like to do like a full head of really small ones at some point. That like really like 1920s thing. It reminds me of my great nan, she used to do her hair like this every week and like perm it. And she had like really tight curls, so cute. Right, little ones are in, so we've just got this section here and then the very front bit. I think there's too much hair in this one. Ah, we might have to do a little another mini one. We can do another little mini one at the back. I wish I was joking, but my arms are actually killing me. Okay, hopefully that will all fit in now. I need to redo this one as well. It was going so well, and now it's just really not going well. I think if we just redo this one, then things are gonna be better. Lovely. Oh my god. What is wrong with this one? Okay, last bit, thank god, little front fringe bit to do, and then hopefully it works, otherwise I will scream. This one last, just so it has the least amount of time. It doesn't really need any time to set, this bit of hair is just quite mental anyway. Voila! Let's spray it all in place. And now we wait. Normally I would do this and then do my makeup and take them out, but see my makeup's already done. So I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit just where I've been like spraying. I feel like things have moved a bit. I'm gonna take the Merit Beauty Bronze Balm. I actually just filmed a video on TikTok of trying Merit Beauty for the first time. I'm literally obsessed with stuff, especially this bronze stick. It's so amazing. So I'm just gonna redo that where everything's Kind of moved a bit. Also, look how amazing it makes your skin look. It's so glowy. Ow. Oh, I've just realised my ear was in a clip that whole time. Oh, and my really nice clip is broken. I'm having a great day. I'm actually having a fab day. Surely I can just glue that back on. I'm going to take some setting powder. This is the Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics. I feel like that has made me sweat. So I need to re-mattify. It's better. And then I'm going to use a bit of Vive Treasure Lipstick. My favourite nude in the world. 
love when you change your lip colour how much it changes your face like that's just like softened everything now we wait a bit longer do I have anything else to tell you oh I used this this morning um Space NK body oil I got this about a week ago and I thought it was a bath shower oil so I just haven't used it and I got it out this morning I thought oh I'll put that in the shower it's not it's just a body oil but I used it and I feel like I look really nice and glowy I love that it smells really good as well Tom Ford very kindly sent me a Christmas present screaming crying throwing up the ombre leather which I'd never smelt before I'm oh love that oh god that is the sexiest smell in the whole world Tom Ford is just sexy isn't it that's just what they do I just took some pictures for thumbnails quickly how trippy is that by the way because you'll probably see this and that will be the thumbnail but now it isn't yet but I just took them Let's take these out and this is when we realised that it was all a fucking waste of time. Start with the bottom ones. This is the issue with these clips, you have to put so many in for them to hold that then you always lose one. Okay, cute. So I take them out, just let them do their thing, let them sit, and then at the end I'll like brush and move any bits that we need to. So I've got an event tomorrow night and I'm really hoping this is actually gonna like last me until then. That is the bottom layer so far. Not too bad. That clipped kind of like dented my hair there as well, so I think we'll have to like smooth that out, but that's okay. Um, I don't want to take that one out yet. Every time I do this, everyone tells me I look like the Home Alone mum. And actually I do. Also didn't realise until the other day that she's Moira from Schitt's Creek. I feel like me watching Home Alone and me watching Schitt's Creek were like 15 years apart, so that blew my mind. That's where we've got the little ones, so. Ooh, <gasps> what the hell has happened there? So I'm going to like brush them out with the rollers as I go. It feels like less harsh than using an actual brush. It just like softens everything. I try and not judge them too early because I feel like in the end they all kind of play a part. And sometimes the weird ones look quite cute. Ow! Those little ones are very velcro-y. Just a lot of work, isn't it, really? To be honest. Oh. See, I do quite like when these fringy bits go in rather than out sometimes. This is usually the one that gives me shit. Yep. Oh, actually maybe, maybe I was dramatic. I can probably sort that. I feel like that's always the one that I have to like fix a little bit. Oh, actually, maybe. Okay, maybe I overreacted. This is the one I went in with, which I don't normally. Yes, I think I prefer that, you know, going that way. Let's give everything a big shake. Make sure the clips are actually out. I really like that side. I feel like that side's gone really well which it tends to, I just feel like my hair just sits better on that side. This side, I feel like it looks good, but we can do some adjustments. I'm gonna take the brush again and just sort of like clean up, like bits like this, like what is that? And there we go, I've kind of just like softened everything. I think I prefer when they're more like Hollywood wave kind of little, Kind of like Betty Boop, those little bits. I normally tuck this side anyway. Like I just need this bit of fringe to get like a tiny bit longer. Once it kind of like curls and sits underneath my chin, I feel like I'll love it. Same with that side, but it's kind of just at that awkward like, doesn't really know what to do with itself, but that is the finished hair. I absolutely love this. I feel like especially for this time of year, it just makes you feel so glam. It's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here as ever. I will leave links to everything in the description box down below. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. I will see you all very soon. Love you.